Alrighty guys, let's talk. Y'all see this Compass 22 or either 23 model? I don't know what year it is, but it's one of the new ones. Now, let me tell y'all something. Y'all know me. I'm a nice guy, right? I take one for the team. Mechanic diagnose something and he ain't here to do it. JT, I need you to put this on. No big deal. I'm a team player. Well, this guy, let me explain something to y'all guys. The way the audio system is set up in cars today is totally not the same. Okay, and as it relates to diagnosis, you totally got to get out of that old style mindset because nothing is the same. Okay, let me tell y'all something. Uh, this lady radio wouldn't come on. In essence, the screen wouldn't display. Here's a screen. Okay, guys, this is nothing more than a screen. Get it? Meaning display. All it do is display your radio features. All right, but yeah, look, it looks like a big ass radio. It's nothing more than a monitor slash screen. Now, so we got the new part. I got the new part. Got ready to put it on. Guess what? Still no display. Oh my goodness. I'm. I ain't gonna say I'm glad I didn't diagnose it, but like, cause I can't just say mention I'm a team player and then dog got the guy to diagnose this. That would be tacky, and I'm not tacky. Well, anyway, uh, obviously he didn't diagnose it. Okay, because like I say, this sets right here. And if you don't see a display none, yeah, a typical mechanic will yell out, "It just need a radio." Now, the first thing you do uh, when it become when it comes to radio and things like that, audio, first thing the average mechanic would do is check fuse. That's the simplest thing, right? Guys, this is a freaking compass. The fuse box location is all over the freaking place. Yes, there's one under the hood, but that carries that does no body features. That's one in the freaking trunk. Yes, in the rear of the that's not uncommon but it's how would you know that that's why owner's manuals are needed but now owner's manuals are on a dvd or online so there's no more paperback anything my point is i'm on the computer looking for the simplest thing called a radio fuse the freaking book take me all over town i still never found the fuse so you know what i did went directly to the connector right a typical connector red is typically hot black is typically ground this is off of this, the display so guess what i got i i went a step further because because without ground dude, your display still could not light i stuck one end of my test light in ground and another end in red the light lights what does that tell me i got power supply to this damn screen it should be lighting but however there are some more wires in here that manage the display part well it wasn't it wasn't displaying so you gotta go to plan b at that point uh well i had no plan b but let me say this uh y'all see this little funky looking thing right here ladies and gentlemen this is your radio <laughs> yeah it's not one single knob on this thing but this is your radio this is nothing more than a display uh just displays everything the radio doing so y'all better get out of the habit of oh, all it need is a radio because it did not need a uh it did not it did not need a display it need a radio how do i know no i don't have spare radios just laying around i can't this is a compass a new model compass i can't just go you know to my spare tools and uh, grab a radio and plug it in and see <laughs> however there was another compass in the shop so it's it's called double work i had to double work to figure this thing out simply grab the radio you know it might be that's a tacky way to do it but if you don't if you want to spend hours countless hours running tests doing this doing that that's on you all right if i if i got a way out i got a way out but well you got power and ground going to the display the display still went light uh plug the radio in but uh my point is nothing is the same anymore so y'all all way of diagnosis is totally out of the drain and on top of that you got to have a scan to uh, pull up functions on this thing and i ain't say no damn cold reader i'm not talking about no 32 dollar cold reader from autozone no you need a scan tool. this is a module all right the display is a module everything is a module all right so yeah y'all get better get out if you're gonna be doing this stuff for a living you might as well invest in some damn uh the proper stuff but one more time this is the radio no knobs no nothing this is nothing more than a freaking display in fact let me give me a good thumbnail of all of this so he got it wrong 
Uh, I'm just a cleanup man, you know. Now I'm sure he's gonna ask me, how'd you find out it was the radio? I ain't got no. I, I didn't do no magical testing. I just grabbed a uh, similar part. That that in itself takes skills. All right, don't think for a second just because you know you had to go around and about to find out what it need that that diminish what you did. No, yeah. Thank goodness another compass was in here of the same year. Same. It didn't even have to be the same year, but I'm done. I just want to put that out there. Y'all be careful out there if y'all diagnosing cars. So, uh, and this radio is expensive, almost a thousand dollars, seven hundred. I think she says seven eighty or something like that. Well, look at it. <laughs> they gonna hand me this and put it in, and she gonna get all the display back. Um, yeah. So, but keep it simple. First thing first, check the fuse. If you can find a down fuse, all right. There, yeah, nowhere on YouTube or Google or any of that places. Chat, none of that. They don't know nothing. This car is fairly new. So uh, I'm going to wrap this up, man. Let me get out of here. I'm going to put all this back together because she's going she gonna to come up. Come up and get it and uh, wait till the radio get here. She bought it, though. She want her radio. You want your display. This is a nice-ass car. She'll be riding around without your display lit up. All right, guys. I got to go. Thanks for watching.